students uh, here you can see the demonstration of atmospheric p means pressure in laboratory how the demonstration happens of uh, atmospheric pressure so it has present in your book um, so here you can see uh, that a thin tin a thin tin can okay this thin tin can uh, little bit water inside it and a stopper a air tight stopper a air tight stopper has just fitted here that air locked okay so what just used to do first we have to provide some heat okay we just provide some heat uh, just a um, um, little bit heat we have provided so initially what happened before providing heat there is the air molecule and up to this water and if you open the stopper then what we can see there is normal air molecule so just initially remove the stopper okay and air, uh, water is here stopper removed give heat so if we give heat what happened you know that uh, that water converted into water vapor steam vapor okay so that steam vapor will occupy this space and all the air air will just uh, go out okay all the air inside the tin can will go out and the tin can which co is covered by the steam pressure okay steam vapor there is steam vapor no air now just uh, when you just feel that oh, there is already all the steam vapor it will just uh, complete with uh, filled with steam vapor immediately you again air tight with the stopper you just put the stopper back in in their again the previous place okay so put the stopper now what you you have and stop uh, giving heat okay so what now you have you have the uh, this thin can thin can with some unboiled water some water here and steam here so immediately after that we will pour some cold water on this tin can so what you will observe if cold water frozen cold water if you just immediately uh, just uh, uh, set over it then you can see the bottle the can will squeeze up okay the can will squeeze up why this happens students why this happens see when you pull the cold uh, cold water suppose this is the can there is the vapor so when you put the cold okay cold water on it so what happen inside that steam they become condensed condensed and again converted into water okay so as the converted into water there will be a vacant vacant space will create there will be vacant okay all again as cold has given all will converted into water and there will be a vacant space as the stop clock is there stopper is here so what happened outer atmospheric pressure forcefully will provide a pressure huge pressure on it whatever it is generally used to give that pressure they used to provide on the can to come uh, enter this space okay inside this space they want to, they used to give the pressure as the inside pressure will be less and outer pressure more so atmospheric pressure will squeeze the bottle okay so this is the simplest demonstration you can practice this experiment in your home also with a cork if you don't have the air tight uh, also little bit if tight cork is there this experiment uh, it can be success okay you can try this experiment and uh, i hope you can understand why there is the less pressure as we have poured the cold water out the can so what happened out out surface of the can so all the condensed uh, condensation takes place all the vapor converted into water so a vacant pressure takes place so outer pressure will increase okay hence the bottle will squeeze that will prove that there is a uh, atmospheric pressure okay so this is the laboratory experiment now students come to some common consequences of air pressure means what we can see in our daily life so here it is students all the consequences one by one i will explain okay uh, first sucking uh, first just i explain here atmospheric pressure at sea level is around 10000 kg per meter square students it's uh, uh, in west uh, west um, turn country they used to use the psi unit 14.7 psi but if we convert that unit to kg per meter square as we are comfortable with kg 
ओके दैट्स वाई वी आर नट कम्फर्टेबल इवन पाउंड अल्सो बाट अमेरिकान कान्ट्रीज दे यूज टू मेजर पी एस आई एंड पाउंड ओके सो दे यूज जेनरलि दैट टर्म बाट उ यूज के जी सो फर योर कन्सेप्ट I uh, give give here the atmospheric pressure at sea level is ten thousand kg per meter square. That is enormous. Enormous means a lot of pressure. Okay, ten thousand kg per meter square, and uh, you know a human body is around two meter square surface area. It has covered a human body is surface area around two meter square. So we we all suffered twenty thousand kg pressure. Twenty thousand. Can you imagine it? A fifty kg uh, bag when you carry. it will be much more heavier we feel but air put pressure on us around 20000 kg 50 kg 20000 just compare compare the, the, this thing so how enormous thrust is providing uh, pressure is giving atmosphere is giving that much pressure on us so how we deal with it we deal with it through our blood pressure ear nose lungs stomach everywhere the blood all organs they have the pressure outward so this outward pressure from body and uh, the uh, upper pressure from atmosphere they both balanced okay as they all balanced hence as they balanced we don't feel any pressure from from outside okay so that's why we didn't feel any pressure but at high altitude somewhere if you go in a hilly area Uh, for a trip, for a trip, sometime you used to go move. Pressure low, okay. High altitude, you know that at the higher higher area, pressure used to decrease. At the lower surface, due to the gravity, as the lower surface, the P P is high. Then the upper area means um, uh, mountain area. So when you go mountain area or hilly area, high altitude. Pressure is low, hence blood pressure becomes much more. Means our inner pressure becoming. Suppose this is inner. means body and this is outer so at upper area means um, at mountain hilly area this outer pressure less but blood pressure as usual so it's become more so blood pressure more outer pressure less atmospheric pressure less blood pressure more means what happens the sometime nose bleeding may occur okay means blood comes out through nose and the different holes present in the body okay so this happens this happens that's due to the pressure difference in the uh, hilly area now students come here there is some uh, major uh, little bit another consequences of uh, the atmospheric pressure that sucking a drink with a straw okay there is a straw so here just my drawing is very nice suppose here your mouth okay Where what happened at first initially a glass of uh, suppose a glass of coconut water has given to you so with straw at first when just you sucking start sucking the straw what happened the air inside the straw will come come inside so what happened a vacant vacuum takes place okay so as the vacuum takes place the atmosphere atmospheric pressure means atmosphere try to come here. that atmospheric pressure will be increase here the pressure less takes place means the deficiency of pressure here takes place decrease of pressure but atmospheric pressure become more higher at that time so atmosphere atmosphere will put pressure on the water of that coconut water and that water will just enter through the straw and go to our mouth okay so this is the way means the way we create a vacuum in a place means a pressure difference we just create okay as the pressure difference takes place a one side become increase another side become less okay so what happened that higher pressure used to go they want to go the low pressure area okay hence they used to put the um, pressure on the given liquid or anywhere and they just push this push that thing okay so this is the atmospheric pressure p means pressure now coming to the another example filling a syringe with a liquid same thing suppose this is a liquid and this is a syringe okay there is the liquid at at first what we used to do we just uh, the um, syringe at first just we will 
just um, uh, the syringe is kept with its opening just inside the liquid okay and the plunger is lowered till its base means this this is the plunger what we are pulling out that plunger till its base now when the plunger is pulled up in the barrel okay suppose this is the barrel when the plunger pulled out what happens first initially it's it was as usual but after deep inside the uh, liquid when the pull out the plunger what happened there is a vacuum create okay so there is no air inside and thus pressure inside the barrel below the plunger is much less the atmospheric pressure acting on the liquid surface so here atmospheric pressure is acting inside the uh, syringe pressure very less than the outside surface as a result atmospheric pressure force the liquid to rise up in the syringe so the atmospheric pressure try to come here but as it will come through the liquid so it will push the liquid it will not directly come here so it will push the liquid to come go uh, rise up in the syringe so now i think you can understand uh, filling a syringe with a liquid okay so next lecture we will discuss okay now we will discuss it also next we will go with the action of rubber uh, okay so filling the ink in a fountain pen fountain pen you can see that um, <coughs> the when the, there is a rubber tube attached with the uh, nib okay nib there will be a nib sharp nib with a rubber tube okay so what happened when at first we just uh, when we the uh, squeeze the rubber tube the air inside the rubber tube go out and immediately during that squeeze condition we will uh, just sink the this nib we just sink this nib in the ink pot then we just leap our hand so what happened the inside the rubber tube a vacuum create takes place so all atmospheric pressure push the ink to rise inside the rubber tube and by this way we just filling the ink into the fountain place so all these three are the same technology means same way we are uh, using okay now just next lecture will come on action of rubber suckers and uh, siphon all these three we will explain okay